In this video, I want to show you how you can quickly use the My Coloring Book AI, which is completely free to make your own AI generated um, coloring book pages or images. So if you go to mycoloringbookai.com, sign up for free and then log in, you'll be greeted with a screen like this. And quite simply, all you have to do is put in um, what you want. So there's no need for complicated uh, prompts here. This is trained uh, and uses a LoRa for coloring book images. So all you have to do is put in what you want, for example, like so, and then hit generate. And now do bear in mind, this process it may take a while because it is a completely free service, it depends on the load etc. So you can just leave this tab open or you can just leave and go onto another tab and do something else and come back to it or just leave it on the screen and wait for it to complete. I'm just going to skip forward now and until it's completed. When the process completes it will look a little bit like this here and will give you four different variations of what you wanted. And for example, then if you wanted to keep one of these images for export, what you do is click on the button below it, for example, here, add image three. And then what that will do is add it here in my export list. And I can currently see all the ones I have in my export list in this drop down menu here. If I want to remove it, I can just hit the delete button like so and then it's removed and then again if I want to um, remove all of the images I can then click the delete all images button here for example if you've added a ton and then you want to start again you'd hit that button there so we've got one image so then how can we make that process a bit simpler and a bit easier for you well what you can do is that you can put in a list of prompts. For example, I might go for, this. and you can put any amount in here. Just obviously bear in mind, the more you put in, the longer the generation time. So do bear that in mind when you are doing this. So let's go for these three. Again, it can either be on a new line or comma separated. Hit generate. And then now I'm going to wait for this process to complete again. So I'm going to fast forward this bit. And then now that process is complete, you'll see exactly the same as before, except for now I have three lots of images. So again, I can follow the same process. If I want an image, if I click on it, it will then add it to my image list over here. And I can go through and choose however many I want. So now I have three there. And again, you can keep adding, you can put in single prompts at a time, take a look at the images, choose one, or if you don't like them, regenerate. And then you can keep doing that process until you get the images that you want and then once you have them we scroll down here to export if you click that you'll see a large preview of all of the images that you've selected to export and then you have the following options so you can export it as an svg file so that's a vector file and you've got png and jpeg files which are obviously ordinary uh, image files and then you can select the minimum width and height you want for these. And then you have the ability to export as a PDF. So you can choose the page size, margins, how many images you want per page and any titles, etc. And then you can do it exactly the same with the PowerPoint file. Choose all the margins, size, images per page, etc. So I hope this quick introduction video into how to use the uh, My Coloring Book AI helps you. 
Thank you for watching.